Hey YouTube, this is your girl, Mama Sauce. Um, I today I'm talking about the business behind your trucking business. Uh, this is I'm taking the knowledge that I've had in the past in accounting and management and business, and um, I'm applying it to trucking. You know, I'm trying to learn the physical part so that I can bring it all together. Um, but it all starts with, uh, you know, depending, deciding on what type of a corporation that you're going to be um, trying to establish. You know, are you going to LLC? Are you going to be an S Corp, a C Corp? Um, me, I'm going to do S Corp. I am still just waiting on a name. I know. I, I'm i still waiting on a name. The name, I want a name. I don't want to keep changing my name, you know, if another one comes along. So I'm just going to take my time uh, and get a name that I'm really, really cool with. And, um, and then, you know, then it'll just like, it'll go. But the reason I'm going S Corp is because I get... I want to, like, be able to pay myself, you know, keep the business and personal income separate. Um, with that, you know, you have to have two separate accounts. So I need to have a business account and a personal account. And, you know, whichever way I decide to pay myself weekly, biweekly, monthly, you know, I have to cut myself a check, you know, for my personal income I have to pay me so you know I pay me a reasonable income and uh you know and I take the taxes out um and then I will give myself a w-2 um at the t you know during tax season I would give myself a w-2 um because that way I don't have to deal with you know I don't want to just LLC and then you write off all your deductions and it looks like you really didn't make any, you know, because I want to be able to build business credit and things like that for the company. So, uh, for me, I'd rather pay myself, uh, and take the taxes out just like, you know, you would do with any other job, any other company and stuff like that. And, uh, that way the taxes are paid. So security is paid state is paid everybody's happy you know irs is happy you know you're making some money you know you can pay yourself uh dividends uh if you like you're looking for a little bit extra and stuff like that um you know you can do like dividends because you know you are like the only expect like for me i'm the only employee you know i am the, the the CEO and I am the employee. So I'm going to pay myself, you know, a reasonable income and, you know, the rest of the, the rest of whatever I make goes into the business. That way I'm building business credit as well. Um, on the business side, I'm showing, you know, gain, I'm showing profit, losses, and, you know, all of that stuff on the business aspect. But I'm also giving myself uh, a salary that I can go off of that already has the taxes off so I don't have to, you know, be trying to, um, so, so I don't have to be paying, you know, because, you know, if, if you're not doing it like that, you pay more, it's a higher tax bracket if you're just playing on LLC. You know, it's, a, it's, a, it's not uh, as big if you S-Corp. So I'm going to go S-Corp. And, um... And then just work it like that. Uh, if you're not knowledgeable in that, get yourself a good accountant. I'm just blessed that I already know accounting. That was my profession before. I've been doing taxes. I was an auditor, you know, before. So, and my daughter is one too. So, I'm going to bring her along to help me, you know, grow, you know, uh, this business uh, aspect. Um the write-offs, you know, you write off everything. I know that they're, let me see, last I checked, you know, you know, things change yearly. Last I checked, I know we can do $65 a day uh, that goes toward, you know, your uh, over-the-road 
over the road expenses, hotels, uh, wash, you know, washing clothes and uh, food, you know, things like that. You get $65 a day. Um, you know, you can tax off uh, maintenance of the truck. Your truck payments is, uh, you can write that off. Um, let me, truck payments, maintenance, uh, daily expenses, fuel, um, all of that stuff. It's just right us. I mean, for the most part, people taxes I've done, it's so many write-offs that you can get that you can pretty much zero it all the way out but that's not like a good business expense because it makes you look like a, a bad business owner when you're taking everything off to make it look like you didn't make anything so you know if you want to build like business credit and stuff you got to show profit you got to show that you're a good business person so that way you can get that new truck that you want or you can get that um the the business accounts that you want uh credit cards fuel cards uh stuff like that uh so me i don't want to zero out but what i want to do is show that i'm a good business person so that i can build business credit and that's key you know you want to build business credit because uh, it, it's, it's vital for, you know, the growth of your company. You have to be able to show that you can, that you're a good business, that your business is smart. You know, you're making the money. You can't say, oh, I made $120,000, but you wrote off $100,000 <laughs> in, in credits. Because then it means that you only made 20000 so that doesn't make you look like a, a good business person. So you got to kind of have a balance of it. So for when, when you escort, you know, be smart about it. You know, pay the taxes, you know, ahead of time. You know, take out, you know, for the taxes, put that, keep that in your business account and send it to the IRS. Because you don't want them on your back. I know my daughter right now, She that's where she's working and it's not a joke it's not a joke you don't want them on your back so you know um you have to be smart about it um when it comes to uh how much how much you want to take out s corp is actually a smarter way to go about it but i know a lot of people do llc but the tax the tax brackets on l just being llc sole proprietor is a lot higher than it is if you s corp so, you know, you have to literally, like seriously, you have to keep that separate. You write yourself a check. When you get paid, you have that go into your your business account, and then you write yourself a payroll check, just like you would do if you were working any other job for your, um, for your income. You know, so um, I, I think I'm going to go in more in depth with that a little bit later. I'm going to break all of that down. Um, because right now I, I think I need to have an outline because I have so many things I want to say and I'm getting a little like ahead of myself. Um, but, uh, to LLC or to escort, that is the question. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, this is your girl, Mama Sauce, over and out.